Welcome to our channel Get Cooking Now. Today we will share with you a detailed step-by-step -step recipe to make a deliciously moist and flavorful goan delicacy. Made with fresh coconut and goodness of semolina, it's a treat you don't want to miss. Prepared in most goan homes to celebrate Christmas and special family occasions. This Goan delicacy is sure to get the festivities started. Our recipe for today is moist and flavorful Goan bath. Step 1. Preparing the ingredients. Take 2.5 cups of freshly grated coconut. Use only the white flesh. 1.5 cups of fine semolina, rava or suji. 1.5 cups of fine sugar 4 medium sized eggs 100 grams of butter quarter cup of cashew nuts roughly around 22 to 24 cashew nuts without their skin 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence half teaspoon of cardamom or elaichi powder half teaspoon of baking powder you will need a baking tin a 9 by 7 inch rectangular tin or an 8 by 8 inch square tin. Step 2. Roasting the semolina. Gently roast the semolina in a thick heavy bottom pan on low heat. Roast for a few minutes until the color changes slightly and you get a nice aroma. Roasted semolina is ready. Move it to a plate and let it cool down completely. Step 3. Preparing the cashew nut powder. Grind the cashew nuts in a dry grinder for 2 seconds at a time using the pulsing method to make a fine powder. If you grind continuously, it will turn into a paste. Our cashew nut powder is ready. Step 4. Dry grinding the coconut. In a mixer grinder, add half the quantity of coconut without adding any water. Grind it for a few seconds. Once ground, remove the coconut and keep it aside. Now add the remaining quantity of coconut and grind it similarly. Ground coconut is ready. Step 5. Preparing the bath batter. In a bowl, add the butter and sugar. Beat it on low speed with an electric beater or with a hand whisk. Don't wait for the sugar to dissolve completely or become smooth and creamy at this stage. It will get there once you start adding the eggs. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon to receive a notification whenever we upload a new video. Once the sugar is mixed properly with the butter, Start adding the eggs. Add the first egg. Beat it properly so that it combines well with the other ingredients. Remember to break one egg at a time in a separate bowl so that if it turns out bad, it can be discarded without affecting the entire batter. It will also be easier to remove small egg shells that accidentally fall while breaking the egg. Release everything that is stuck to the sides of the bowl. Add the second egg. Beat it properly. Now add the third egg. Now our last and final fourth egg. Beat until the mixture is smooth and creamy. Once the mixture is smooth and creamy, add the vanilla essence and mix it properly. If using unsalted butter, then add one pinch of salt. Help us spread the love for Goan cuisine. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. And please share them with your friends and family so that they can also benefit from our recipes. Do comment with your feedback and suggestions to help us make our videos even more better for you. Add the cashew nut powder and beat until it mixes properly. Adding cashew nuts will definitely enhance the taste, but you can skip it if you want. 
Add the roasted semolina and beat until it mixes properly. Now switch off the machine. Add the ground coconut and use a wooden spoon or spatula to gently fold it in the batter. Make sure to stir it in one direction. Once the batter is ready, you will need to cover and let the bath batter rest outside for one hour before putting it in the refrigerator to rest for a minimum of six hours or best to keep it overnight. Due to food safety reasons, we don't recommend keeping the bath batter outside in room temperature for a longer duration as it contains uncooked eggs. Although it was a common practice in the past and some people still do it today. Step 6. Preparing the baking tin Line the baking tin with butter paper to easily remove the bath after it is set. Place the baking tin with the bottom facing up. Cut the butter paper to exact size of the back surface. This smaller piece will be used at the bottom for double protection. Take another piece of butter paper and this time keep around 2.5 inches on all the sides as this will help you to easily pull the bath out of the tin once it is baked. Fold it in the way I have shown. Also cut it at the places I have done. Then turn the tin and using a brush apply unflavored cooking oil to the entire inner surface of the tin. Sprinkle all purpose flour or maida in the tin and spread it evenly to cover the entire surface of the tin. Dust off any excess flour. Please do not touch the inner surface. Now add the smaller butter paper we had made for the bottom. Then add the bigger butter paper folding it in the way I have shown. It should fit perfectly and will take the exact shape of the tin. Then apply oil on the butter paper. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon to receive a notification whenever we upload a new video. Baking tin is ready. Step 7. Preparing the bath for baking. Next day, remove the bath batter out of the refrigerator. Mix it properly and let it rest outside for one hour before baking so that it comes to room temperature. Just before you're about to bake, add the baking powder. Then add the cardamom or elaichi powder. Mix it properly using a spatula or wooden spoon. Stirring it gently in one direction. Bath batter is ready for baking. Put the bath batter in the lined baking tin. Spread the bath batter evenly and also level the surface. To remove any air pockets or empty spaces that may be present in the batter, gently tap the tin on the kitchen counter a couple of times. Step 8. Baking the bath. Bake the bath in the center of a preheated oven at 320 degrees Fahrenheit, 160 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes or more, depending on your individual oven. You will need to monitor the oven to see if the bath is ready. You will know that the bath is fully cooked when the top of the bath turns golden brown and a thin stick inserted in the bath comes out clean. Our Goan bath fresh out of the oven. The aroma in the kitchen is out of this world. Let the bath cool down completely. It is best to demold and cut the bath after resting it for few hours. Step 9. Slicing the bath Our bath really looks amazing. Demold the bath from the baking tray and also remove the butter paper. Now let's cut the bath. You can make thin or thick slices. You can cut it the way you prefer. Store the slices in an airtight container and consume it within 2-3 to three days. For longer shelf life, store the container immediately in the refrigerator. For further details regarding this 
or any of our other recipes, always refer to the description box for accurate and updated information. Deliciously moist and flavorful Goan Bath is ready. Do write a comment to let us know your feedback on this recipe and please press that like button if you appreciate our efforts to bring you these detailed recipe videos. Check out our other interesting recipes and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.